years ago, um, I went round to see a healer and she said to me, oh, you're so lucky. The men will love you. And I went, why? Because, <laughs> you know, my husband had just left me. So um, she said, well, you're so uh, in touch with your feelings and you're so uh, got this very wise psychological understanding. They'll just love it. It will uh, shine a light. Uh, it will help them understand themselves. <laughs> and I thought about my brothers and my dad. And I'll tell you, <laughs> it wasn't treated like a good thing. <laughs> so I, I think it was that uh, I was born into a family where that was run from and treated uh, with disdain. And you know, so that was my normal uh, when I went into life. And this is why I'm making this video to just alert you that what you're laboring under or, or can, um, that we can recreate these patterns uh, from our childhood. So it wasn't valued in my childhood, so in my adulthood, I just expected the same kind of disdain and ridicule. Now, and I got it until I woke up. <laughs> yeah, and I steered right away from that. It took um, many years of these patterns coming up of expecting um, the disrespect, not expected to be taken seriously. Um, and what I finally concluded, you know, partly through my exposure to the Eastern way, I really, you know, do think that maybe there's more than one life. And I think sometimes we come in and we're clearing patterns that have maybe happened in several lives, maybe many. And, you know, the sign of that will be if we go through a really difficult period and it's really, really heavy, there could be many lives where we did something, made a choice, and we're making a different choice this life. So all the threads from those lives come up really to be healed. For example, you know, for me, like I, you know, I, I know that I had lives where, I, you know, the past bit where I wasn't respected properly. So it's taken time. But somebody could have um, lives where they, you know, went along with the mores of society, the customs, and uh, pushed down the glimmerings of their heart. And so maybe this life, there's, a, there's been an awakening and a kind of, oh, I could choose differently. I could follow my inner guidance, but it could be very uncomfortable uh, for us if that's happening because maybe we had quite a few lives where we pushed our guidance down so that kind of habit or that pattern comes up uh, and it, it's up to us really to have the courage to go uh, to keep going and Well, we'll have to choose whether we do it yet again or whether this time we turn and follow our guidance, even if it's a little scary. And we never know how it's going to turn out until it does, except you can intuit how it's going to turn out. So, for example, I, I really had this strong intuition that if I just kept going, I could become a, a really wise woman like Olga 
and help a lot of people. And it seemed impossible in one way, but in another way, I just felt it so deeply that it, I just kept going with it and really I couldn't do anything else. So that's, that's kind of how it was. But I, I really want to encourage you. You know, I, I know women can be uh, kind of a, like a fearfulness that comes from, you know, many lifetimes with the bound feet or being burned at stake or just, you know, having, I don't know, you know, having a nice settlement and then, you know, uh, marauders from came on boats and raped and pillaged and killed the men and the women, you know, we had to go along with and become wives or whatever to these, uh, the invaders. And we had to do it maybe just to, to protect our kids. The women have this like unconditional life. Life is, is worth, is valuable no matter what's happening. And so we, we know how to kind of put up, put up, put up with it, like put our heads down and just take on the burden and, and keep going. But, but maybe at this time, if the women, the women's silence, like staying, doing that again, when, you know, Mother Nature's screaming and there's such a lack of compassion or wisdom in the world, maybe women, we really need to uh, have the courage to stand with our deeper feelings and, you know, the guys, I guess, to have the courage to come behind us, you know, make a better world. Okay, bless your hearts.